Imagine a forest where trees don't just grow, they dance. In the heart of Russia lies a peculiar natural anomaly, a place where Mother Nature seemingly imparts her own brand of choreography, the dancing forest. Nestled within the Curonian spit, this forest is not your ordinary expanse of greenery. Here the pine trees do not just grow upwards towards the sky, they twist, turn, spiral, and form rings, as if caught in a perpetual dance. This unique phenomenon has sparked numerous scientific theories, each striving to decipher the mysterious waltz of the trees. Some believe the answer lies beneath our feet in the unstable sandy soil of the region. It's thought that the shifting sands might cause the trees to grow in these bizarre, twisted forms as they seek stability. Others propose that the dance of the trees is orchestrated by the relentless winds that sweep across the Curonian spit. The constant strong gusts might force the young saplings into unusual shapes, which they maintain as they grow. Another theory puts forward a completely different culprit caterpillars. As these tiny creatures feast on the pine needles, they might impact the growth pattern of the trees, causing them to twist and turn in strange, captivating dances. Each theory offers a unique perspective, yet the true cause of this enchanting spectacle remains veiled in mystery. Scientists continue their investigations, but the forest keeps its secrets well guarded. The enigma of the dancing forest is but one of the many wonders of our natural world, a testament to the endless variety and unpredictability of Mother Earth. In the end, perhaps it's not essential to unravel every mystery. There's a certain magic in the unknown, in the dance of life that unfolds in its own rhythm, following its own unseen choreography. While the true cause remains unknown, the dancing forest continues its waltz, captivating all who visit. Silence is golden, but in Mexico's zone of silence, it's downright eerie. Welcome to a place where the laws of nature seemingly take a back seat, and the inexplicable reigns supreme. Nestled within the Mapimi Biosphere Reserve in Durango, Mexico, is an area known as the Zone of Silence. Here, radio signals mysteriously fail and compasses spin in wild, unpredictable patterns. It's as if the very fabric of reality is slightly warped and the rules we take for granted are not so rigid. So, what's the scientific explanation behind this phenomenon? One theory points to magnetic anomalies. The Earth is like a giant magnet and its magnetic field extends from the inner core out into space. But this field isn't uniform. There are places where it's stronger or weaker, and these are known as magnetic anomalies. In the zone of silence, it's suggested that an intense magnetic anomaly could be interfering with radio signals and affecting compasses. This magnetic field could be so strong that it deflects radio waves, rendering them ineffective. Imagine trying to talk on your cell phone while someone's using a giant magnet to pull your signal away. That's essentially what's happening here. But there's another theory that adds a cosmic twist to this tale. The zone of silence is also home to a vast meteorite field. In 1969, a huge meteorite shower rained down on the area, scattering fragments over a three square kilometer zone. Some believe that these meteorites, possibly containing unique or rare elements, could be responsible for the strange phenomena experienced in the zone. The Zone of Silence is a stark reminder of the mysteries that our world still holds. It's a place where science and wonder meet, where the answers are not always clear, and where every new discovery only seems to deepen the enigma. It's a testament to the fact that, despite our advanced technology and understanding of the world, there are still places that defy explanation. In the Zone of Silence, the quiet speaks volumes about the mysteries of our world. In the heart of the desert, the sand doesn't just shift, it sings. This is no mirage or trick of the mind, but a captivating natural phenomenon known as the singing sand dunes. Scattered across the world, from the Gobi Desert in Mongolia to Death Valley in California, these dunes perform a symphony in sand. When the conditions are just right, the cascading grains create a melodic hum that resonates across the barren landscape, filling the air with an ethereal haunting music. The sound from these dunes has been compared to the drone of distant aircraft, the low growl of a bass viol, or the hum of a swarm of bees. This enchanting desert song has been a source of folklore and mystery for centuries, with tales of desert spirits or sand genies echoing in the wind. But as with many wonders of the world, the truth behind this phenomenon lies in science. 
The song of the dunes is born of grain avalanches. When the wind sweeps across the desert, it triggers a cascade of sand grains down the dune. As these grains rub against each other, they generate vibrations. These vibrations travel through the cascading sand, creating a resonance that amplifies into a powerful, audible hum. The pitch of the song is determined by the size and speed of the grain avalanche, the type and moisture content of the sand, and the temperature. All these factors come together to create a unique symphony for each dune. In essence, the singing sand dunes are nature's own musical instruments, with each grain of sand acting like a tiny violin bow, rubbing against its fellow grains to create a resonance that sings out across the desert. While science has given us a lens to understand this phenomenon, the singing sand dunes remain an enchanting mystery, a testament to the magic and wonder that exists in the natural world. They remind us that even in the most barren of landscapes, there is beauty, there is music, and there is life. The singing sand dunes compose a symphony that echoes the enigmatic beauty of our planet. A lake that appears and disappears at will, welcome to Ireland's Lawarima. Nestled in the scenic landscapes of County Antrim, this lake is a spectacle of nature's whimsy, a phenomenon that has been baffling observers for centuries. Now, you might be thinking, how does a lake just vanish? Well, let's delve into the geological reasons behind this seemingly magical act. The answer lies beneath the surface, quite literally. Lagarima is situated over a bedrock of chalk, a permeable substance that allows water to seep through it. But that's not the whole story. There's another character in this geological drama, a sinkhole. A sinkhole, for those unfamiliar, is a natural depression or hole in the ground caused by the removal of soil or bedrock, often by water. In the case of Lugarima, there's a sinkhole at the bottom of the lake, acting much like a natural drain. When the weather is dry, the water in the lake drains through the chalk bedrock and the sinkhole causing the lake to disappear. But when it rains, and in Ireland it often does, the situation changes. The water table rises faster than the sinkhole can drain it away. The chalk bedrock, despite being permeable, cannot cope with the sudden influx of water. The result? The vanishing lake reappears, sometimes within a matter of hours. Lagarima's disappearing act has given rise to many local legends and stories, adding a layer of mystique to this already fascinating place. Some say it's the work of fairies, while others believe it's the ghost of a drowned coachman playing tricks. But science, with its geological explanations, gives us a more grounded understanding of this natural marvel. So the next time you see a lake, remember, it might not be as permanent as you think. Lugarima, the vanishing lake, serves as a reminder of the transient and ever-changing nature of our world. A storm that never ends, welcome to Venezuela's Catatumbo lightning. Imagine a storm that rages almost 300 days a year, a tempest that lights up the night sky with an unending ballet of lightning. This is no work of fiction, but a real spectacle of nature known as the Catatumbo lightning. This extraordinary phenomenon occurs at the mouth of the Catatumbo River in Venezuela, where the river meets Lake Maracaibo. The area is known for its unique topography and atmospheric conditions, which are believed to be the key factors behind this relentless lightning storm. The Catatumbo River runs through a narrow channel before it empties into the lake. This unique topography, combined with the warm, moist air from the Caribbean Sea, creates the perfect conditions for thunderstorms. The heat and moisture rise to meet the cooler mountain air, resulting in a near constant clash of temperatures and consequently, a never-ending storm. But that's not all. The vast plains of Lake Maracaibo act as a giant conductor, attracting lightning from the surrounding storm clouds. The result is an average of 280 lightning flashes per hour, almost every night of the year. Scientists have been fascinated by the Catatumbo lightning for centuries. It has been studied extensively, yet it still holds many secrets. For instance, why does the lightning appear to be attracted to the lake? What causes the storm to persist so relentlessly? Various theories have been proposed, but there's no definitive answer yet. Some scientists believe that the methane gas produced by the local swamps and oil deposits may play a role while others suggest that the unique mixture of air masses could be the key. Regardless of the scientific explanations, the Catatumbo lightning remains a captivating spectacle. It's a testament to the power and mystery of nature, a storm that defies our understanding and leaves us in awe. 
The Catatumbo Lightning, a ceaseless spectacle of nature's power, illuminates the night sky, leaving us in awe of the mysteries it holds.